Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news international travel may be back on the agenda for many, but it is likely to cost a lot more post-pandemic. But first, US jobless claims came in virtually unchanged last week from the week before, but those monitoring major layoffs are finding more now. US-based employers announced 103,000 cuts in January, and far higher than the 19,000 cuts in January 2022. As spectacular as these changes are, you need to keep in mind that the US workforce is 156 million people, so this new level is just 0.07% of that. American labour productivity rose in the December quarter, and labour costs rose at a much slower pace than anticipated, only at a 4% annualised rate. And US factory orders bounced back to growth in December from their big and unexpected November fall, but not by as much as expected. And going the other way, Canadian building consents fell more than expected in December after an unexpectedly large rise in November. In what might be seen as an act of desperation as Beijing's grip on Hong Kong tightens and confidence leaks away, the city's governor is giving away a half a million free airline tickets to try and entice visitors back in 2023. As expected, the ECB raised its policy rate by 50 basis points to 3% during its February meeting, its highest level since late 2008, and indicating it will deliver another 50 basis point hike in its meeting in March. A commodity we don't watch much is the cost of aircraft jet fuel, but it is in shortage supply, made worse by a sudden shift for more air travel demand, which started in the US and is now expected to grow rapidly in Asia. We're talking 20 to 60% year-on-year rises for jet fuel. Just in the past few weeks, the cost of this fuel has risen by 11% since the start of 2023. It's hard to see it reverting back anytime soon. And the US Treasury 10-year yield starts today at 3.38% and down another 8 basis points from this time yesterday. And the price of gold will open today at $1,916 an ounce. That's down $8 from this time yesterday. And oil prices start today, little changed, at just on $77 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is just under $83 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is firmer, at 64.9 US cents and up a half a cent. Against the Australian dollar, we start today up a half a cent too, at 91.6 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're back up a half a cent to 59.5 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at 71.4 and up 50 basis points from yesterday and back to where we were this time last week. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.